your pipeline. How is your pipeline? So many coaches and consultants don't have an efficient pipeline. They don't have a strategy that gets them clients whenever they want. They don't have a strategy that can help them bring in more clients whenever they want. And so you've got to have a strong pipeline. And you need a strong strategy and a marketing system to make this happen. All right. If you want to keep a pipeline of people coming into your world that are that are the right people, not talking about, you know, millions of people that could or could not be your clients. I'm talking about the right people. If you want a consistent pipeline, then you need a great strategy that can support that so that you don't have to worry about where your next client's going to come from. So you don't have to worry about, okay, I think I want to, I think I want to do a, you know, a group or a mastermind to scale. Where am I going to get the people? You've got a great strategy that can feed that. And so do you have that in your business? You need a strong pipeline and you need a great marketing strategy. So if you're out there building your brand, that's great. That's great. You're on here with me. I'm building my brand. I'm sharing my expertise. But at the end of the day, if I don't give you a way to take a next step with me, I'm not filling my pipeline. I'm just putting stuff out there, right? Now, you may choose not to book a call with me today, and that's okay. And you might choose to follow me for a while, and that's okay. And it's okay for people to do that with you too. But you still want to give people a way to come in and have a conversation with you. And, and a lot of people miss that piece. They're so afraid of selling. It's not about selling. If people want what you have and you give them a way to take that next step, they'll do it. And if they don't see a need or or they don't want what you have or they're not ready or whatever that is they won't it's that simple but all of these things that you're doing should be building your pipeline and you have to just not put stuff out there but you have to give people a way to come into your ecosystem and stay in your ecosystem right or to get your help and a lot of people miss this miss this piece so what is your marketing strategy do you have a great strategy behind what you are doing and all of the work that you're doing out there uh, if you don't you're missing a huge piece of again you're doing all the work and you're already doing it right but it's not paying off and so that this whole training today is about getting to 300k plus without doing more. So take what you are doing and make it better. Make sure that all of your effort and everything that you're doing is actually bringing people to you. People should be showing up in your inbox. When I do these lives, people show up in my inbox. They book on my calendar, right? And so my message, I invite the right people to my live trainings. And if it feels like a fit for them, they'll book or they'll show up. You need to do the same thing. This is all part of filling your pipeline. The other thing that goes along with filling your pipeline is you need something that is consistent and it's very rinse and repeat. One of the strategies I teach clients is how to run live virtual events, not like this where anyone can come, but closed events where you vet the room and you bring in the right people and then you just pour into them and you give value to them and then you offer your services at the end of that. And that is filling their pipeline. And if you and I if, if you didn't check out the training last week that I did around six steps to running 100K plus virtual or live events, go check that out. A lot of people do things the hard way. They don't have these pieces in place. They're missing elements and they're just out there trying to kind of find one client at a time. And it's why they stay stuck. And it's why a lot of times uh, their pipeline dries up. One other thing that I did forget to bring up in the packaging and pricing is I retain your clients. Don't just do a one and done. If you're a consultant, how can you stay with that client longer and help them with additional projects or things that they need to help them reach their overall goals? If you're a leadership coach, 
don't just go in and do a one day workshop and then not offer anything else. Or don't just go in and do a 90 day leadership training program and not offer some sort of coaching or something on the back end. This is where the big dollars are. Plus, you don't have to keep going out looking for new clients. You become a partner to the people that you're working with. You become a partner to your clients. And so uh, if you're not retaining clients, you're missing a huge, huge piece in your business. I teach my clients how to retain clients as long as we can, you know, as long as we can stretch that out. Now, that being said, with integrity, don't sell people things they don't need. But most people, there are often, there are more things they need. I mean, I'm a business coach and consultant and business never, you know, business marketing and sales, there are always things changing and there are always things that I'm even learning. Even at this stage in the game, I've been doing this 12 years. I'm consistently learning. I consistently work with a coach who's far beyond where I am. And I learn their, what they do. And I pass those things down to my clients. So I want to stay very relevant in my market. And so I, things I never run out of things to help my clients with. And I'm sure if you're an expert, you're the same way. But if you don't give people a way to stay with you, you're missing that opportunity because then they won't. They'll go out and they'll look for the next thing. And so it's really important that you think about long-term retention versus just churn and burn, churn and burn, churn and burn. So what are the four P's, the four shifts so you can scale and not do more? What were they? Number one was your packaging, which includes your pricing, right? And then the second one was your people. Who are you targeting? Level up that audience. Level up that market. I should say market, not an audience. Level up that market and get start working with better people who have more money to pay you, okay? Uh, I heard something a long time ago that I thought was kind of funny, but it was very relevant. And it was like, quit pulling broke people off the bus, right? And trying to work with them, trying to sell to them. So think about that. And then the third shift and the third P was your positioning. How are you showing up? What does your brand look like? Is your positioning strong? Do you pass the three second test? All right. If I go and look at you, do you pass the three second test? And then the fourth one was your pipeline. Do you have a great marketing system and strategy to keep your pipeline full? And are you consistent with doing it? That's the other piece of a system is you've got to be consistent with doing it. So I would love to hear your thoughts. If you want some help scaling your business into multiple six and seven figures, you can book a call. But if you are an expert and you really are at a place where you're kind of stuck and maybe you want to really grow, I have a three hour free virtual workshop coming up in October that I would like to invite you into. Now, I follow what I teach, and there is an application process to be able to attend. I'm actually inviting some of my newer clients to come to this workshop, and I'm training them on how to have 25K to 50K plus months with high-end clients. And so I'm actually doing this training. Uh, the last time I did this training, someone, a business coach, went out the very next day, closed a client for three times more. And a couple days ago, I got a message on LinkedIn from someone that was in that workshop. She reached out to me and said, Ann, I closed over a $36,000 client plus some additional fees for deliverables. And that was from my free workshop. Now, I could be charging for these workshops, but I don't because I bring the right people into the room. And this is part of me filling my pipeline. I don't do any kind of hard sale, but I do show you, I, I help you. It's actually value-based. We really work on things. And then I show you what I have to offer you if you want to go deeper and you want to work with me. Uh, but this is what I teach my clients to do as well. So if you're interested in coming to that workshop, there is an application um, and you can go to expertinyouworkshop.com and actually apply to come to that workshop. And if it looks like the strategies that I'm teaching will be relevant and it looks like you'll be a fit to join us there and you do have to be there live, there's no replay. Uh, and if it looks like it's a good fit, then I would love to talk to you about coming into the room with us. It will be one of the best things you've ever done in your business. And I have people tell me that. I have people say, you could have charged a lot of money for this. Well, I know because it's what I teach my paying clients. But that being said, I also get clients this way. Not I, I'm so transparent in everything I do in my business because I help my clients do the same thing. So... You can check that out at expertinyouworkshop.com and apply there. All right. 
thank you, thank you, thank you for being on here with me today. I am so honored, so blessed. I hope that you got value. I would love to hear your takeaways from what I talked about today and even what you, where you see you could maybe go make a shift immediately to start growing your business. So connect with me, make sure we're connected and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or I can help you in any way. I love you all. Bye-bye. Have an amazing day.